Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ka'ili Ogden, I'm a writer, and I am the Vampire Girl. July is our Out of the Shadows special. This month I am taking a break from vampire myth and media and taking a look at some non-vampire, non-horror related titles that were recommended to me by some of my friends here in the real world. The first book of this special month was recommended to me by a familiar face on this channel, my good friend Miranda, and we will be doing a discussion video about this book later. Check out that video, it's gonna be so much fun. I love working with Miranda. <laughs> no, I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in the video. Dragon Rider is a middle grade fantasy novel written by author Cornelia Funk. It was originally released in Germany in 1997 and was translated and re-released in the US in 2004. A film version of Dragon Rider was released by Sky Cinema in 2020 and is only available to stream on their platform. I have not personally seen it, but it does feature voice talents such as Patrick Stewart as Neville Brand and Thomas Brody Sangster as Fire Drake. So looking at the cast, I don't know, maybe give it a shot. If this is your first book review on my channel, let me tell you how it's gonna go down. I will give you a brief spoiler-free summary of the book, as well as a smattering of my thoughts, and then I will give this book a score out of five and say whether or not I will continue to follow the author or the series. This week, instead of an analysis, we are doing a discussion video between me and Miranda, so make sure to check that out because we always have a ton of fun. When humans threaten to destroy their home, a young dragon named Fire Drake sets out to find the Rim of Heaven, which is the dragon's originally home and is said to be a sanctuary where they can just live in peace and not have to worry about humans. Fire Drake sets out on his adventure with his best friend, a young brownie girl named Sorrel. Along their way, they meet and befriend a human child named Ben. Danger is ever following their trail in the form of the golden dragon nettle brand. Our young heroes must brave the journey and survive the trip. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hesitant to go into Dragon Rider. I'm not a huge middle grade fantasy fan, especially as somebody who is now in their mid-twenties. I just wasn't sure. Also, I could never really get into Ink Heart, which is another book by Cornelia Funk. I liked the movie, I couldn't get into the book, so I was kind of hesitant to, to tackle another one of her stories. But I'm so glad I did! This book is so good! It's so fun, it's magical, it's adventurous. I can't remember the last time that I sat down and just enjoyed a book so wholeheartedly as I enjoyed Dragon Rider. It's just page after page of fantastical creature and friendship and danger and adventure and it's so creative. There, Cornelia Funk does a great job of melding the modern world with these fantasy creatures that she's created and it meshes together so beautifully. So for more in-depth insight on that, make sure to check out the video discussion that I did with Miranda. It is our Tale of Two Flannels discussion about Dragon Rider. Make sure to check that out. In addition to just being a fun adventure, the story is also incredibly well written, it's well paced, there is never a dull moment, and all of the threads that are set up throughout the book come together at the end and just wrap together so nicely. It's just a very well-told story. With all this said, Dragon Rider gets a score of five out of five from me. The adventure is great. The characters are all wonderful. It's so creative and fun. I highly recommend that you check this book out. I also plan on finishing the series. There's another book uh, called The Griffin's Feather. I plan on reading that hopefully in the near future because I just loved, I loved this book so much. So. Definitely, definitely check out Dragon Rider. There's also an audiobook version that you can get on Audible. I'm not sponsored by Audible because, you know, I'm still a baby on YouTube. But there's an Audible version which is narrated by Brendan Fraser. I really like it. His narration is so fun. He gets so into it. It's just a total joy to listen to. So if you're reading, sitting down reading a book is not for you, check out the audiobook version. Though I will say I read about two thirds of this book in one day just because I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I couldn't put it down. It was just so good and so fun. So definitely check out Dragon Rider. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm sorry this video is so late. Life has been crazy these last 10 days. It's just one hill after another, but we're here. We are good, we are having fun, and we are reading some awesome adventures. So, all that good stuff. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!